Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Google Drive API in Python tutorial. My name is Jay. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Drive API to upload files to your Google Drive folder. So for this video, I'm going to show you how to upload these two files. One is Excel file and the other one is an image file to this uh, random files Google Drive folder. Let's go into our Python editor. Here's the code to create the uh, Google Drive API service instance. And if we go to the documentation to upload a file, I'll be using the files resource .create method. And the maximum file size is 5,120 gigabytes. And below are some of the parameters and the request body information, which I'll link the link in the description below so you can go to the information on your own. Now let's go back to the Python script. The first thing we need to figure out is uh, which folder do we want to upload our files to. Here, let me go back to my Google Drive. And I want to upload my files to the random files folder. So I'm going to go into that folder. If we look at the URL, and here's the Google Drive folder ID. And I'm going to copy this ID. And I'm going to store the ID in a variable. I'm going to name this variable folder ID. And because these two files have two different extension types, so I'm going to create two lists. For the first list, I'm going to name this list file names. And the second list is going to be file types. And I'm going to grab the file name for both files. And I'll store the file names in the file names list. For the file types, actually, let me rename these to MIME types. For the MIME types, here uh, on my website, I have a table that lists all the MIME types for almost uh, every single file type. And if I search for Excel, SX, and this is going to be the Microsoft Excel file type. And we know this extension belongs to Excel file type. I'm going to scrap the MIME type value. And you can also create a function to uh, detect the extension type and returns the uh, MIP type. For now, to keep everything easy, I'm just going to show you the, the basic steps. And we know the second file is an image file. So let me search for JPG. And here's the MIP type for uh, JPEG. I'm going to just copy uh, the this text right here. Now we just need to iterate uh, each element in the file names list. I'm going to say that for file name in file names. I'm going to create a dictionary to store the metadata. And I'll name this dictionary file metadata. And we need to provide the name. Since we're uploading the files to the Random files folder, not this, not this one. To this uh, random files folder, so I need to provide the parents parameter. And it's gonna be a list. I'll insert the folder ID variable. And to convert each file to byte strings, so here I'm going to import another function from Google API client dot http. <coughs> I want to import a class called media file. Upload. Now let's go back to the loop. Here I'll insert the media file upload class. I'll insert the file path. And the files are on the random files folder. And let me grab the folder name. And also need to provide the MIP type. Oh, so here I made a mistake. I should use the zip function to zip the file names and the MIP types together. So it will be for file name and MIP type. And for the MIP type parameter, I can assign the MIP type object. And I'll store the output to an object called media. 
Now you can upload the files by inserting the service object dot files dot create. <clears throat> and I need to assign the file metadata object to the body parameter. For the media body parameter, I will assign the media object. And I need to specify the fields. And it's going to be ID that execute. Now, if I run the script, oh, and here I'm getting a, a attribute error. When you see this attribute error, most likely is the file path is incorrect. So here, let me insert the uh, period. Let me try again. And this time, the script was able to execute successfully. Now, if I go back to my Google Drive, and here's the Excel file, and here's the image file. Now, if I just double click on the image file, and this file is uploaded successfully. So the same thing I want to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.